Have you ever wondered why moving on to positional welding isn't the same as welding down flat on that bench? In this video we're going to go through a few little suggestions helping you define gravity with that lovely molten pull to keep those runs nice and flat making it easy for subsequent passes. So what we're going to show you today is a two pass fillet weld in the vertical position so that's PF for everybody out there that knows the terminology or 3F depending on which side of the pond you're on. So we're doing this one with 7018 so that's E7018 and they're 3.25 in diameter. So we're going to run these on around 110 amps with the electrodes plugged into the positive side and your earth clamp into the negative. These rods are only designed to run on electrode positive so keep that in mind. So moving along as you can see this first run we've kept that tight in with a slight weave trying to fuse into that bottom corner. We don't want a massive run first we're just trying to get fusion into bot. So a little cheeky chip and that's run done. Moving on to our final pass. So now we're going to weave a little bit wider so we need to be pausing along the sides trying not to overfill the middle of that pool so we're doing a slight pause on each side so pause come across pause come across and then you're just laying that run making a nice little landing so you're laying that molten pool on top of what you've previously done moving away just allowing yourself enough time for that other side to be starting to solidify so when you come back onto it it gives you somewhere for that molten pool to sit the reason we need to keep these runs flat is if you were putting subsequent runs on top of this if you've got type sections where it's very peaky you will not get enough fusion to be able to burn that out and you'll get lack of fusion down each side so we had 120 amps on for this particular run we need a little bit more juice because we're weaving now so we need a little bit more power some common problems when people set up to do this run is they have too many amps the reason is if you overload this with too much heat the whirlpool will always congregate in the center this is why you get peaky runs when you've got too many amps on so this is the reason we have to be really really conscious of our settings making sure that we've got enough amperage and we're not overheating and giving ourselves too much molten metal to be trying to defy gravity with so moving over to rod angle we're always using a push-up angle what we don't want to be doing is putting that rod level 90 degrees or pointing downwards because we're trying to defy gravity so another thing to remember with these rods is make sure on the restart that you strike above and then bring your rod down to where you want to actually start welding these rods will always give you a certain amount of porosity on a start so just be mindful of that because if you start above then if there is a slight point of porosity you can actually burn it out and by going over the top of it so run done my favorite little chipping plate get rid of that slag so hopefully this has given you some tips to help improve your vertical welding so the video you can see on screen now is going to show you how to complete a vertical butt weld using both 6011s and 7018s so that's going to push your vertical welding skills to the next level we'll see you over there 